r slash ask reddit what annoys the duck out of you when i click an ad because the page load jumped i haven't had a big reaction to most of this thread but oh my god do i hate this one edit a word because i'm a fool i legit close my phone and then i open the phone again and close the entire app nothing is that important to go back to the web page when that one bit of food is stuck between my teeth and I can feel it with my tongue, but I can't see it or pull it out with my finger. Or when a popcorn seed skin gets stuck behind your tongue. Our in between your tooth and the gum it's a really unfortunate ordeal edit. You all are making me scared of eating popcorn. People who know absolutely nothing about a subject and are convinced they're experts. Dunning-Kruger effect, or illusory superiority. Too ducking dumb to understand that you're dumb. It happens so often they gave it a name. I'm terrified that I run into it so often. On the positive, even if I'm familiar with a subject, I try to introduce it as I've read, or my impression is, rather than stating something as fact. Serious pet peeve. I try to do the same thing, and unfortunately, the people who have doubt and aren't totally self-assured often have the deeper knowledge about a subject but someone from the outside may just gravitate to the supremely confident ignorant loudmouth. That perfect thin line of dirt that always remains after sweeping into the dustpan. Wet paper towel for the win when this happens editing to say thank you for these. My first ever. Awards. Special shout out to my 89 year old grandma who taught me how to get every last dust particle when cleaning the house. I don't know why I've never thought of this. Thank you. People who get off escalators and abruptly stop and stand there so you nearly bump into them. Also people who block the sidewalk by walking, slowly, next to each other so you try to squeeze through on either side but there's just not enough space to pass without bumping into them so you have to actually say excuse me but they're talking with each other so you have to say it louder until you practically yell which makes you seem unnecessary rude. A while back the wife and I were leaving Walmart. There was an older couple in front of us with two full carts. They stopped side by side right in the middle of the second set of doors to rifle through all of their bags. Blocking people coming in. Blocking people going out. After three polite excuses attempts went unheard. One the lady did hear me, looked at me, and kept looking through her things. I go please get the duck out of the way. So they did. Scoffed, and the guy had the nerve to tell me maybe if you lost some weight you could get by. This was at Walmart, my politeness switch goes to the off position when dealing with the peoples at Walmart. When you're laying in bed about to sleep then remember you forgot to do something. Or you're about to drift off and your nose itches, fully awake again. When I'm walking and my socks get all bunched up under my feet. Yes, and wrinkled sheets, holy crap, didn't realize so many people hate wrinkly sheets too. Thanks for your upvotes and a silver award, bro. I swear fitted sheets are just an inch or two too small. The corners are constantly popping off. People who ask for my opinion and then get mad when I share it. That's not someone interested in your opinion. That's just someone using you as a soundboard to agree with. My younger sister is like that, to be fair. She's still a teen though. I now preface it every time with are you sure you want my honest opinion? When she asks. People who sit in the left lane who cruise slower than traffic, or even worse, who match speed with someone in the right lane, creating a traffic wall. The old rolling roadblock, a classic. The ones who speed up at the passing areas, then ride back down once the passing area is over. Don't even get me started on roundabouts. Somebody demanding my attention when I'm busy. Don't have kids. Working from home, with three kids, two schooling from home, this has become an everyday headache. How many damn times do I need to look at you hugging the dog? I am busy. People who chew with their mouth open. My brother brought me to little tears out of sheer anger and frustration once when he chewed cereal with his mouth open as we were getting ready for school. LOL. I feel you, man. My sister doesn't eat with her mouth open but she smacks really loudly. And it just makes me so frustrated I have to cover my ears. It would be easier to name the things that don't annoy the duck out of me. I hate people who are vague about the things that they hate. What doesn't annoy the duck out of you? Loud people. People talking on speaker. 
or walking around the store with their music full volume without headphones. Muffled bass. In the neighbor's apartment I'm sure the bass slaps but through the wall it's just loud enough to hear. I can hear it just over whatever I'm listening to with my headphones. Just turn it down like two ticks. This is one of my biggest misphonia triggers. Since I was 12 and I'm 30. Instant trigger and it's a coin toss if I'm going to cry from despair at not being able to stop it or be so angry I cry. One time. We lived in an apartment where the people directly below my room had a home theater and the bass was always shaking the room. I didn't know what misphonia was at the time but it was the 10th time I went to my dad crying and uncontrollably angry. So my dad took his snare drum off the stand, laid it on the floor, and wailed on it for 5-8 minutes. To this day, it's one of the sweetest things he's done for me. Oh my god same here. It stresses me the duck out immediately, like my body tenses up when I hear any bass. Some people moved upstairs a few months ago and told us that they're DJ so it's been real fun. But they gave us a cell number in case it gets too loud but I'm just like can you ducking wear headphones? I usually wear headphones when I play guitar and stuff because I'm not a dong. People, they are all too peer play. People, what a bunch of bastards. Bastard coated bastards with bastard filling. Not using your turn signal edit, while this blew up. This never happens for me. You wanna know why this pisses me off, too? Because I tease right the frick there. Like you are so lazy and selfish that you can't just press down or up so that you tell everyone else what you are doing. Slow walkers on busy streets, and people that walk down the sidewalk five abreast like they're in the opening montage of a ducking sitcom. Also when they are in a group and make a line and decide to hold hands. Little shit children who were never told no and will grow up to be absolutely ducking entitled. A close second. The parents who have coasted up to around the 6 year mark and are now trying to get it under control but wind up yelling in the best by nearly constantly because little Emerson has absolutely no self control and just does whatever he wants. She's mad and embarrassed and has no idea how to handle little Emerson and just keeps getting louder and more frantic. As was said by every mediocre high school teacher I've ever had a lack of planning on your part does not constitute an emergency on mine. People that block the aisle in the grocery store, they generally block one side with their cart and the other with themselves, staring blankly at the products like they were alien artifacts found on the moons of Jupiter. Bonus annoyance when they acknowledge your presence even after an excuse me and continue standing there like a donkey. Super bonus if they've angled their cart awkwardly at an intersection and now block two aisles. Honestly, just people in grocery stores in general. Not sure if the etiquette differs in other countries, but ours is basically every man for himself. Especially if you are concerned with social distancing and the 6 foot rule and let people pass in front of you because of this, you will be spending half your day at the store. People that smack their lips while eating. My mother-in-law does this. Almost choked to death when my wife said she sounded like a pig at the trough. You forgot a coma between eating and my and I had to do a double take. Yeah bruh it's annoying. Haha <laughs> eating my mother-in-law and other recipes for long pig in my new book. A shat's on the highway that fly past me doing 9100. Get in front of me and then slow down abruptly to like 50. And it's not people in shifty cars trying for insurance money. It's people in really nice cars thinking they own the road and it happens every single night on my way to work. I love when they do this and we end up next to each other at a red light. Good going. Jackass. In general, people with no ducking awareness. Now that COVID won't allow me to go grocery shopping in an empty store at 2am. Going during the day is such a pain in the ass because of the other customers. People who will just shove their cart out of one aisle without looking and damn near hit you while being totally clueless. Or others that will be pushing their cart down the middle of an aisle. Where you don't have room to get around either side and just stop to look at their phone. Pull that shit to the side and out of the way. Because the issue with COVID is all the rampant shopping at 2am. Some of this shit makes zero ducking sense. Have people wear masks. And actually limit how many people can be in a store. Sorry if you lose like $1 in profit Walmart. Oh ducking well. We can't have too many people together. Let's close the stores at late hours so the people that would have come in at that time now have to come in with everyone else. Johnson, you're genius. People who leave their grocery carts randomly in parking lots. It drives me insane. 
There's a radio show called Woody Show. And two guys do a bit called cart knocks where they walk up and confront people who are too lazy to push the carts to the cart corrals. When you search and search for an empty parking space. And when you finally find one. There's a shopping cart in the middle of it. People who lack humility. It's such a basic social skill yet so many people just seem to think being boastful or self-righteous is okay. Nobody is more humble than I am. I doubt that. I'm twice as humble as anyone I've ever met. And I just met you. When someone drives and they constantly hit the brake to slow down instead of slowing down with the accelerator. Man. I had to bite my tongue when a friend was teaching his girlfriend to drive. No. Your foot should always be pressing down on the accelerator or the brake. You see those round things under the car? Those are wheels. There is zero reason not to coast up to a stoplight from a reasonable distance. It amazes me to see how many people don't understand just coasting to a red light and drifting to a slow speed and the light turns green and you are still moving while other people speed until the last second. Slam on their brakes, then slam the gas pedal when the light turns green. I just coast on by them. When people want to talk to me in the morning or while I'm eating. Like damn. Can I get some peace? I wanna be with myself for a bit. My husband is a morning person. Also he takes ADD meds first thing. And gets up an hour earlier than I do. First thing I do in the morning is go sit on the back porch all by myself and try to wake up. Quite often he follows me out there and talks. No idea what he says. Because I don't hear a word of it. If you've told him once or twice you aren't a good listener in that environment and he still does it you're in the clear. What source? I'm someone with ADHD who also talks at spouse even when I know she probably isn't listening. When someone texts me first, I respond. And then they take forever to respond back leave on read. You texted me first. You. This is this. Person. Do you wanna play a game? Me. What game? Person. Fortnite or probably Xmet. That's good. What time? Person. Leaves you unopened. The way my girlfriend shops. She'll grab a million items to look at them then she'll give them to the cashier to put back. She'll open packages even after workers tell her not to. She'll unfold clothing and then just drop them on the floor when she's done looking at them. I can't tell you how many dirty looks I've gotten because of it. It's mortifying. I'd legit break up with her. Not worth the embarrassment and she clearly lacks respect for others. People who make more work for others because it's their job to clean up. Or that's what they're paid to do. If you leave a mess in the movie theater. Making another human clean up after you. When it would have taken so little to do it yourself. Cleaning staff. Retail employees. Table buses. Anyone who keeps something looking presentable for other people's experience in that establishment. They're not there to wipe your ass. They don't need you to make work for them. And they have plenty to do whether you patronize their establishment or not. People turning on the lights when you're trying to sleep. It annoys me. My roommates had this tendency to turn the lights on at night when they are either looking for something. Use your phone light. Coming into the room. And sometimes just to playfully annoy me. No just no. I'm here laying comfortably in my bed but then all of a sudden the sun god decide to rain hell on me and the world is ending. And then my roommates are just there looking at me. And I'm over here trying to finally get actual sleep. And then they just smile and I know they enjoy torturing me. So I move the hell out. Ain't nobody gonna be turning the lights on me again. Should've removed the light bulbs. Improvise. Adapt. Overcome. People interrupting me while I'm talking. This is for sure number one for me. It's not just people interrupting me. I get bugged listening to conversations where people interrupt each other. It just strikes me as so very rude. That presidential debate was like having a 60 minute root canal. People who flick cigarette butts everywhere. Why do they think it's not littering? It's not even biodegradable. Left lane drivers under the speed limit. I try to be understanding if they're actively passing someone on the right, but otherwise they're a-holes. People who ducking use apostrophes for plural words. Domino's Pizza does this. They write up Domino's but then their iOS app is Domino's. Which is it? They got a guy named Domino to develop the iOS app. It's Domino's Domino's app. So, when are you getting married? Yeah and it's like bruh we've been dating a week. Well. 
two years, but still, mind your own damn business, I got my reasons. Grown ass men in huge trucks riding my back bumper in traffic. Especially if I'm in the middle or right lanes, just go around me, a holes. Happy people in the morning, I don't know what mental illness that is but I want nothing to do with it. It's not so much the happiness that bugs me as it is the involvement. I felt so bad one day because this one lady I worked with was a morning person, and I felt like she would just ask me one question after another, like an interrogation, but in a nice way, and I had to ask her to just give me some time. It wasn't that she was being mean or anything, I'm just not usually all there for a few hours at the beginning of the day. I was fine later that day, and we chatted. And we worked fine every day after that. Just give me until like 8 before we start the conversating. Pathetic people on here trying to start an argument when nothing you've said would even incite that. I could very well be sharing an experience I had on a boat and some rondo fedora tipping actually person with a PhD and Wikipedia hurls out of nowhere that it's impossible for me to ever have been on a boat. You can't win with these people. Well you can't possibly have been on a boat. I've been boat watching for the coast guard for 57 years. I've never seen you or anyone like you on a boat. I've got eagle eye vision and classified clearance. People who always look for something to complain about. Everyone needs to vent from time to time. But sheesh. Look for the positives in situations. People in higher positions who consistently send out emails with third grade grammar errors. Adults who bully teens for fishing, skateboarding, etc. Just because they need to feel in power. They never say shit to grown men. Well that's how bullies work unfortunately. They won't punch above their weight. People turning on their blinkers to turn left or right at the very last second. It's annoying more so when there's no left turning lane. They've been sitting idle at the light. And signal to turn left once the light turns green. Gah group text messages especially if you hardly know the people in that group text people who wear their masks not covering their nose people with no spatial awareness and are totally oblivious to their surroundings duck i move slow walkers people that talk to me at the gym people who lack punctuality someone trying to talk to me while i'm reading something the parking situation at college campuses. You have to pay for an expensive parking tag that limits you to very cramped and specific areas. Otherwise it's pay at the meter. Some that don't even work. Not just that but it's always a competition to even get a spot. God am I already pay out the wazoo to go there. It's complete horseshit. Edit. Words are hard. Getting blinded by the sun glaring off things. Smug people who think they're right. People who don't use their turn signal salary potentially putting my life at risk. Duck you. Someone not closing the door when they're going out. So I'm always doing this. People that actively believe wild shit like conspiracy theories without doing any legitimate research or using common sense. My mill and her untrained dog who moved in against my protests. When someone isn't listening. And I have to repeat myself numerous times. People that can't be bothered doing the job that they are paid to do. When you're 8 hours into a 12 hour shifts and you see someone going for a second lunch break or the 15th coffee or smoke break for the day. It really irritates the duck out of me. Especially if you decide to take the same amount of break time as them. And they sneak off to the boss and badmouth you for being lazy because you're not working while they're having a break. That the people closest to me have been lying. I don't know what they've lied about and what they've been honest about, and I fear the most valued relationship I had was a lie. Obnoxious people. People using loose in place of lose. Also a part of instead of a part of. People thinking they know everything. When people whose first language is English use bad grammar to look cool. Anti-intellectualism as a whole annoys me. Whatever's mate you is just not with it. When people think it's funny to trigger people on sensitive topics using topic specific jokes and then make that person feel guilty for being pissed and calling them uptight. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.